みなさん、こんにちは。ヨークフィールドです。Hello, dear gamers, ヨークフィールド、Japanese man is here, and today we are back for the eighth episode of Tokyo School Life. So I don't exactly remember what was happening in the previous episode because I was so busy with、um, stuff like my homework, my Minecraft server, which I join pretty much every day, and I、uh, do a lot of modifications. And、uh, yeah, but today we're finally back for the eighth episode of Tokyo Skuru Raifu. I hope you will be、um, liking this series of gameplays、uh, because I will be doing every like every week or two an episode until we reach the,、uh, the end of the game. Like, not 100% completion on videos, but、um, we will finish the main story. Depending on the choices I have selected. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the eighth episode of TSL. Oh, hi. <laughs> good morning. Karin chan, oh, hi. Gohan, do you want to eat? Karin chan, good morning. What do you want for breakfast? I'm not sure what to eat. 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 I slept so much, it made me more tired. Something light, please. Huh, Karin? No work today? She. Since she wasn't here during breakfast time, I assumed she was at work today as usual. Hmm. Mm, I got the day off, so I slept for the first time in a while, but I slept too much and now I feel like crap. Tea, rice, and pickled vegetables sound okay?、Oh. Yeah. Just as Katina requested, I will bring some light breakfast on a tray. There's mayonnaise on the tray, as if that's just a normal part of the meal. Despite being half asleep, Karin deftly opens the mayonnaise cap and pours plenty of mayo on the rice and vegetables. Can you still call this a light meal? Karin is spaced out as she chomps the pickled vegetables and slurps up the tea rice. She usually seems so sharp. It's rare to see her like this. Oh, Oh, yeah, by the way, y o r k f e l d earlier. Didn't you say you want to go to some famous places in Tokyo? Yeah, there's a lot of places I want to go. I especially want to go to Harajuku, Shinjuku, and Ak Akihabara. Harajuku, that's right. Harajuku? I'm gonna go shopping there, so if you like, you can tag along, I guess. Really? Alright, l I'll go! I didn't expect Karin to invite me. Today I'm gonna go on a, to Harajuku on a date with Karin. On a date? Huh?、Uh, by the way, in Japanese they use the word date to describe a girl and the boy hanging out, even if it's not romantic, so this is really a date. Well, I didn't know that. Okay, that's new to me. Even as a w e e b o it's new to me. So this is Harajuku. Taking the train. Took about 50 minutes, including transfers. We stand at Harajuku Station. The train wasn't as crowded as the commuter rush to school, but it was pretty crowded. At Harajuku Station, lots of other people around our age got off too. We have the same destination. I feel you guys. Oh no, I made a big screw up from being groggy. What's the matter, Karin? We came all the way to Harajuku to go on a date, so make, it the, mo make the most of it and be happy and have fun. That attitude of yours is getting me all hung up, you know. Even if I'm not all the way there yet, I'm a public figure. On my days off, I can't let the public know who I really am. Oh, so those glasses are a disguise. I thought you, maybe you had bad eyesight or something. You're so pretty that you still stand out a lot, through, though. What? She hit me? 
What was that for? I was complimenting you. Man, enough already. Let's go. Well, I'm the one who invited you, so I'll do my best to show you around. Karim walks ahead of me with no hesitation on her in her steps. This is the walk of someone in a place they know well. Hey, wait, wait. I run after Karim. If I take the time to stop and look around, she'll leave me in the dust. Outside of the station, you cross one street to enter the shopping district. As you go down a slight hill, lots of boutiques, or boutique, it's a French word again, and miscellaneous stores are crammed together, and just tons of people, people, people. This is Tokyo, what did you expect? The world's most populated city. This is Takeshita Dori. Harajuku, along with Shibuya, is the fashion mecca for young people in Japan. Japanese fashion has a sense of style that is unthinkable in the West and has gained attention all over the world. In Western countries, when most girls become teenagers, they start yearning for a cool style, the cute style fashion like Lolita fashion is radically different. Everybody is wearing amazing outfits. The fashion of the people coming down the street is so eccentric. Their outfits are so unique, there's no sense of unity. Pastel cars, flashy prints, my art are spazzing out. Most important part of Harajuku K fashion is your personal taste. What's popular elsewhere in the world doesn't matter. It's just about if you like it or not. So things just get flashier and flashier as people compete to stand out. I see. Wow, that girl's wild. It's like a bunch of stuff is hanging off of her. I some subconsciously take a step back as the next girl passes me. Her t-shirt is pastel pink with a wild pattern printed on it, and her fluffy skirt flares out. She has a hat and satchel matching her outfit. All kinds of different mixed up things are hanging from her outfit. Stuffed animals, a coat of arms, ribbons, pom-poms, and her hair even has a ton of hair clips in it. Well, if a newbie does this style without thinking it through, it can just look like a big mess, so there's a few set standards like that. What we were just surprised at is called Dekorake. Oh, decoration style, huh? They wear fluffy clothes and then pile on tons of different things on them. The way she did her hair is called a garbage heap. What? What the? That person's face is all white. Seems like this guy was waiting for the Dekora Hey girl. He really stands out since his face is white and his hair is dyed blue. He wears a smart thin black shirt and pants that fit his body line. That's Visual K. He's popular with Japanese rock musicians. I wonder if he's in the band. Man, he's gonna rock out in such a flashy outfit. Hmm, well, this, this is his everyday wear, so it's probably relatively conservative. I think on stage, he'll be much flashier. Really? Wow, I'd like to see that someday. The fans are mostly girls, so if you don't feel out of place, then go for it. Uh, hmm. When I look close, it's not like every single person here is wearing outfits that stand out. The wild outfits were catching my attention, but there are people wearing the kind of clothes I'm familiar with too. Damaged jeans, bra, parted hair, silver accessories and chains with wristbands and other accessories. That's probably punk style. As an oversized baggy jumbo parka paired with shorts for a sporty look. That's probably hip hop or street style. Yeah, it's really like you said. It's not just any one style. There's tons of different kinds of styles mixed up here. That's the spirit of Harajuku K. Oh, 
Karinji is kinda happy. It's true. The walk your own path attitude does seem to suit her. And the ultimate mix of everything is that over there. Oh. As I look over with Kanin pointing, I'm at a loss for words. A girl dressed entirely in black carries a matching black umbrella. She has a dress like a Rococo aristocrat. Her wide puffy skirt is decorated with ribbons and frills. Her hair is dyed blonde and is dainty curls are contained in her headdress. Despite the heat, she's got pristine long sleeves. High laced boots go up her legs. <laughs> I understood Goshika and Norita, which is English, Japanese with English accent. Um, that's called Golitali, short for Gothic and Lolta. It's the combination of Lolta fashion and Gothic, fa Gothic fashion. Oh! Japan gave birth to the cute style of Lolta fashion, but when you com combine that with European Gothic style, this is what you get. Yeah, this combination could probably only come out of Japan, I think. Oh, but man, that girl's outfit is on point. The use of frills is just so cute. I wonder if she'd let me take a pic. Well, she does have quite the presence. Presence, sorry. When I first saw her, I thought it was cosplay or something. Again? Why? Listen, if you said that in front of her, she'd get mad too. Daily wear goth, goth lowly fashion is totally different from playing dress up in cosplay. Huh? Daily wear that? What are you saying? Of course, people dress like that and go to places like cafes or libraries. Really? Japan is living in the future for sure. There's also the male version of golf lolly, Ujike, Prince Fashion. Would you like to pick me something out for you? Nah, it looks interesting. That's gotta be too advanced for me. I'll never wear it again once I go home anyway. Hey, <laughs> what a chicken! <laughs> much i wasn't expecting to laugh at all oh my god oh my god god this make this game is making me laugh so damn much i don't care so what style are you mm, nothing in particular on my off days, I wear my casual clothes as to not stand out too much. But kind of a girly and cool look, I guess. Can ya? Can I tell you my honest opinion? Huh? Huh? There's so many fashionable people here, but you look the best out of any of them. Anta, you always burst out with these embarrassing lines out of nowhere. So? So you kotoba if you say st stuff like that so easily, it loses its meaning. It's bad to never say it at all, too. But you should only say something like that at important times. Karim laughs and pokes my head. Usually if I said something like that, Karim would blush red and get mad, though. I guess when she's in Harajuku, Karim can really be herself. But anyway, is that what she thinks of me? I just said what I was thinking, honestly, bro. <laughs> I also tilted the camera a little bit, since, you know, it was like like that. So yeah, I tilted it a little bit after I laughed. 
The two of us go around to different stores. We go to the general store. Oh, they have so many different little things. These stores are fun just to look around. I always end up hanging around a long time. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, that stuffed animal puppy is so cute. Looks like it do well with the kitty I have at home. Hmm. And it also has the eyes shining again where the mouse is. Karin, you're so serious about this. <clears throat> There's a limit to the amount of things I can display in my room. I can't just go buying anything. I have to think about it. We go to a used clothes store. We could go to a second hand shops too, huh? 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 What do you mean? You worked so hard. I figure all your clothes must be new. I'm not that luxurious. I'm just an I'm just an at most an egg of an idol. I don't make much profit. I see, that's kinda of surprising. Plus, with used clothes, you can't just get whatever you want, so it really tests your fashion sense. I see. Oh, from this park is so cute. Mm, 3,000 yen. Okay, I'll buy it. We go to eat creep crepes on the street. Karin, let's eat crepes. When or creeps, I don't know. Crepes, creeps. When someone says Harajuku, creep crepes are what I, what I come to mind, right? Hey, wait a minute. If you want crepes, I know a better store a bit further. Wow, I'm looking forward to it. The presentation of their food is just the best. It's super elaborate and cute. It's a waste to eat it. And the taste? It tastes good as normal, I guess. Uh, don't you think taste is the most important thing for food? What are you talking about? The arrangement is important too. Like they say, it's a feast for the eyes. We have fun walking all around Harajuku. Mmm, <laughs> sweet, oishi. Karin is really happy with her strawberry crepe. It seems her favorite part is that the dough has heart pattern decorations on it. By the way, I got a chocolate crepe. It was I was embarrassed, so I turned it down with plain dough. Dough. It actually does taste good. But man, I guess it's true that what they say about Japanese girls calling everything in the world cute. And today, no matter what we're looking at, you're always saying everything is cute. Huh? Huh? Karin stops in her tracks, stands in front of me, and glares. Huh? What? You're scaring me. Ah, no, ne. You know, uh, I'll appreciate it if you don't lump it together with those airheads who can't think of anything better to say than calling everything cute. Um, Natsuki is not gonna be happy about it. <laughs> Kidness is not a game to me, it's cute because I say so. I decided based on my sensibilities and mine alone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking and I said too much. Man, I really did it this time. I don't really get why, but Karin's super pissed off. Well, I guess that means Karin is just spouting out cute for anything she sees then, huh? In other words... <gasps> huh? Karin seems interested in something. That sort of sign looks like a cafe. S 
Sweet Lolita Cafe Boutique Honey Sugar Cinnamon Cake? Well, that's with a super sweet sounding name, and it says Cafe and Boutique. Well, which one is it? Hey, Karen, this store. Amarori Cafe Boutique? Sweet Lolita Cafe Boutique? I didn't know there was a store like this. Sweet Lolita? To distinguish it from goth lolly, orthodox lolta fashion is called sweet lolta, it's authentic cute fashion. It seems like it's a sweet Lalta boutique combined with a cafe so you can take your time browsing for clothes while drinking tea. How wonderful! Karin's eyes are positively sparkling. So, wanna check it out? Uh, but I don't think the atmosphere would exactly suit my style. What? But Karin, you love this cute stuff, don't you? You? How did you know? What? That was supposed to be a secret? Come on, just think about it. Karin's eyes have always gone sparkly when seeing something cute, so it's just normal to assume she liked that kind of stuff. If you like it, then what's the problem? Because for someone tall like me, cute and stressed don't really suit me. Oh, so that's the issue. I guess Karin is tall with a slim build and good figure. She looks more like the cool type than the cute type. Oh, okay, another choice. If you like it, then that's that's all that matters. I think cute stuff suits you more. Yeah, cool stuff does probably suit you better. Uh, I'm gonna choose the first one. If you like it, then that's all that matters. Yeah, maybe you're right, but as long as you like it, that's what matters. <laughs> When I was little, I would I have agreed with you. Karin sighs deeply. You know, I decided to be an idol because I admired Mitsuki-chan. Do you know her? Kirabushi Mitsuki. Of course I know her. Mitsuki. AKA Kirabushi Mitsuki. Japan's top artist who is active all around the world. They call her the black hair princess. Her exotic style of leather fashion with a touch of Japanese taste that has drawn fans in many countries. I have some of her songs on my phone. If I told you Mitsuki-chan used to be a really cutie style idol, would you believe me? What? No way. The same Mitsuki? Yeah, their image, her image change was well received, so they pretend like part, that part of her past has never happened. The new fans don't know about the old days. What? Hold on, I can't believe it. That Mitsuki, really? I gotta look up some videos later. I actually used to be a bossy brat. I used to spend all day running around the mountains with the boys. Can't imagine that now, huh? Nah, I can't see how that suits you. Doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, please go on with your story. <clears throat> well, so I didn't have a single girl interest. Then one day on TV, I saw Mitsuki, right? Up on stage, Mitsuki chan was wearing a pretty dress and looking, doing cute dances. She looked like a fluffy princess. Yeah. I fell in love at first sight. With what? I don't even have to ask that, I know. Karin fell in love with cuteness. 
地元の児童劇団に入って誰よりも努力したミュージカルの主役を勝ち抜いて初めてのステージ From then, I started wearing cute clothing. I tried harder than anyone to get into the local theoretical club. Theoretical club, sorry. I won the lead role in the musical and went on stage for the first time. Spotlight of Abite. I was in the middle of the day. I was in the middle of the day. I was in the middle of the day. Soaking up the spotlight, I could please the each and every viewer with just a gesture, and I felt shivers of happiness down my spine. I didn't look entranced, entranced as she remembers the past. And then you decided to be an idol, right? Um, but I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day. Yeah, but once I started middle school and moved to Tokyo, I started spreading up sp- stupidly tall. I didn't size deeply. Now I'm just a little bit. So now cute stuff just doesn't suit me at all. I see. So that's how it went, huh? I see. I get it. I understand Kadin's situation fully. I held Kadin's hand. Well, then let's just go in the store. What? Did you listen to a word I said? This cute just, just doesn't. But that's just to do with your work, right? You've got the day off, so it doesn't matter. Your hobbies are your own personal choice. So, so, that's a policy. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. This is an issue of my personal policy. I refuse to let myself to do anything half baked. Hey, you're pretty strong. I dragged Karin into the sweet lolly cafe. Welcome! The interior of the store has a calm wooden design. The side facing the street with a big window is a cafe, and deeper in the store, there's lots of frilly clothes on display. All the staff are wearing frilly sweet lolly clothes, though there doesn't really seem to be uniform. It's more like they're all wearing the outfits they want to. All the workers are really pretty. Most of all, they all seem overflowing with confidence that just screams, I'm cute! Wow! What is this? Heaven? See, you're glad you came in, right? Are you looking for some clothing today or would you like to rest in the cafe? Uh, uh, then I'll drink something. Um, where's the menu? Can you try it on the clothes here? Yes, of course, we, you can try them on. We can, we can also give you advice on putting an outfit together from scratch. Please try out how fun sweet Lolta clothes are. Hey, you're Phil, what are you doing? I didn't mean to. Okay. One new customer guidance coming right up. Your boyfriend can order something while he waits, okay? The sales girl takes Karin to the boutique space. Okay, I'm not her boyfriend though, just her family. The shop girl recommends various outfits to Karin. All of them are so pink and frilly, it's amazing. Hey, the workers getting excited. Now more of the staff are gathering around. They've started arguing about what's best. Well, I understand how they feel. Karin, you're really beautiful. It makes sense that they want to dress her up. Oh, Karin's fed up, and she's talking back to the workers. Yup, she just can't sit back and treat it like a doll. That's how Karin all right. The conversation between Karin and the workers starts, starts to heat up. The atmosphere is getting intense, like a fight may, might break out. Everyone's so passionate. After half an hour, the consultation is finally over, and she disappears into the dressing room. Um, coffee refill, please. Thank you for your order. Yeah, I was starting to feel some pressure from the staff by now. After waiting a while, Kadin timidly appears from the dressing room. Hey, say something. You always blabber too much. So, how come you're so quiet at a time like this? 
Oh, I spaced out for a few seconds. Huh? What's this? Cute! So cute! Karin, you look so super duper crazy cute. Man, what's going on? Are you an angel? Oh, <laughs> I knew she was gonna blush red. Kadeem blushes bright red and silent. Man, doing that makes it even cuter. Wait, hey, what should I do? Hold on, what do you mean? A new customer? This is the work of a pro. There's some whispering in the store. The workers and customers are noticing Kadeem. Well, of course. That, that's a call. Kadeem is the cutest of, out of anyone here. Um, would you like to work here? The part-time pay is pretty good. Huh? Huh? Um, I'm glad you asked, but I have another job. Oh, I see. Too bad, but I guess it makes sense. You're so cute. Of course, now you must be in high demand. Uh, uh, not exactly. Um, could it be your Yayoi cutting chan? Um, yeah, but... See? Told ya! Karin-chan, the real deal? I'm your fan! I'm always going to your concerts. I love how you're so cool. Hey, no fair. I was a fan before you. Um, um, I love you, too, Karin-chan. Um, uh, arigato? Karin's totally embarrassed. I guess because she's suddenly surrounded by fans while wearing clothes she wouldn't usually wear. Today you're wearing sweet Lotta clothes, unlike usual. Is this your secret hobby or something like that? <laughs> well, kinda. Eek, my outfit matches with Karin Chan. Your usual cool style is great, but your cute style is so cute I might die. Um, can I have your autograph? Oh, me too. Please give me your autograph too. Um, okay, thanks. Thanks for always supporting me. Autograph? Where should I write it? Kadin is so sore with girl fans. When people see that, they get curious and crowd around too. It's so frilly, fluffy, lacy, and sweet in here that I feel like I'm gonna get a toothache. Kadin's fun tea party with the girls continues for a while. Alright guys, mitekute arigato. We will see you probably in another non-TSL video, which I have made a few. I have made memes and have also made reaction videos. And maybe we'll be back in part 9 of Tokyo School Life. So again, mitekute arigato. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, take care, and remember, life is a game with many games to choose from. Peace. Sayonara.